Hello. I want to introduce you now to our sales channel and our new ShopRes 6 surrounding. On principle, the sales channel represents the administration for your storefront. You can choose individual sales channels for each one you want to show on your storefront. It's also possible to use it with the API to connect, for example, a merchandise management. All your sales channels will be shown in the navigation on the left side. Here you can see the main shop, which is my normal storefront, and headless, which is an API application. To add a new sales channel, you have to use the plus symbol. Now a pop-up opens and you have to choose whether you want to add a new storefront or to use an API. In this video, I want to show you how to add a new storefront, so we will go ahead with this one. Now you see the configuration page. At first, you can edit the general settings, for example, choosing a name for your new sales channel, and select your payment and shipping methods. On the right side, you will find the button to activate or deactivate your channel. Below this, you can choose your default settings concerning payment and shipping method, uh, the default country, currency, and language. Below, you will find the navigation where you can choose the entry point for the main, the footer, and the service navigation. Just use the drop down to select a category that you built before in the catalog. Further, you will have the possibility to add a domain for your storefront. Here you have to choose your URL, the language, the currency, and the snippet. You can also add as much domains as you want to using the tab below, and also to delete existing domains using the tab above. Last but not least, you will find the group box options where you can find your API access key. Click on the small boxes on the right side to copy it. And if you need a new access, just create a new API using the tab below. If you finish the configuration of your new sales channel, you have to save it on top. Afterwards, this channel will be also displayed on the left side in the navigation. And now, as we already have two sales channels, I will not save this one and open a main shop for demonstration. Here you can see that after saving the general settings, another setting option appears to choose a theme for your storefront. Here you see that there is already one chosen, but of course you can change and edit this theme every time if you want to. And now everything should be finished and you can use your storefront. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.